is up guys, Andy Forrest Theme Runner here and welcome back to another video and today I'm out here at Hereford Track giving the Nike Zoom X Dragonflies their first run out. So welcome to the track. I haven't been to a track in flipping ages. Um, I'm over here in Hereford today, traveled about 50 minutes over here to finally test out the Nike Dragonflies, which I'm super excited about. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about those in a second. I'm just getting a warm up done. So I'm gonna do like six laps, mile and a half warm up. I actually have a race this weekend. So this session is gonna be very small. It is a first impressions video. But I'm not going to sit down and talk about all the technical stuff or anything like that. I'm just going to do how they felt. First time ever wearing spikes, ever. So, yeah, it's going to be about 5k's worth of work. I'll go through the session in a minute. Just finish this up. And yeah, we'll talk more then. done so there we go don't know if you can see that 1.5 miles done and dusted so today's video is all about the nike dragonflies right here we are going to be testing them out and before we go any further very quickly i want you guys to go and support tim gross on youtube because tim is the reason i have a pair of these he sent these to me we're both uk size 13 and we're going to do like a collaborative video together so although tim's not doing his right now it's going to be a bit staggered we're going to be doing something together when it comes to these shoes. For me though, I've had these sat, I mean he bought these for me about probably two or three months ago now and I just really want to get out and test them. Um, I want to get out and showcase them, see what they're all about. I've never worn spikes before and I think it would be sensible to keep the workout relatively low key. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing 600, 400, 200 times three, each with 200 meter floats. I'm not going to go balls out because I have a race this weekend, um, but we're going to give it a good effort. So I'm not looking to break any records in any, any of today's splits, but I want to just see how they feel, how light they feel. They feel incredible. And yes, I'm going to be one of those people. I don't know if I should wear socks with spikes or not. I see a lot of people that don't. I see a lot of people that do. I'm going to be one of those people that do today. So a lot of you can slate me in the comments. So. Um, yeah we're going to go through and then at the end once we've done that we'll go through some stats and things and talk about the shoes a little bit more it's not going to be a full-on first impressions video or anything like that it's just going to be more a case of giving them a blast and seeing how we get on so uh, enough talking let's get some drills and strides done and warm up Okay, drills and strides done. 600, 400, 200 times three. Let's see what we do.
set one complete. 600 and 146, which is way too fast. I felt the lactate in the legs after that. 472, 233 on set two. And by the way, the 200 meter recoveries, I'm walking 100 and then jogging 100. Two done 149 it's a bit more like it but the first one should have been 71 for the 400 32 for the 200 last set Last set done, 149, same as the second set, 72 again, same as the second set, and a 31, 200 to finish. That was brutal, but great fun. go cool down done so it's a mile and a half warm up mile and a half cool down and in between that 600 400 200 times three in the nike dragonflies that was epic really enjoyed that i love the track i just don't do it enough and i can't get up to use the forest track uh, which is kind of a cinder track because it's only open at training times and it's just an awkward time for me sadly so nice to come over to hereford today and get a session done out on the track and test out these dragonflies so what we're going to do now is I'm going to go back home and we're going to talk about some of the stats of these shoes, how the workout went, stride length, cadence, all of that stuff. They felt super light, they felt super just amazing. I've never worn spikes, that was incredible. So we'll go through all of that now. So there we go, that was a fun little workout done in the Dragonflies. First workout, first run in these shoes. And as I said earlier, this won't be a normal first impressions video, this isn't going to be me going through the specs of these shoes. You've got to remember, this is the first time I've ever worn spikes, hence the, hence the socks and spikes combo. I know I'm gonna get grilled in the comments for that, but it would be a little bit foolish of me to sit here and try and pretend that I'm an expert in spikes, because I'm not. All I can say is this mesh upper is stunning. It is so comfortable. We've got a hole in the back there, beautiful mesh upper. Laces are pretty much exactly the same as what I found on the Next% Percent too. Very grippy when you tighten and they've kind of got ridges in them so they really kind of lock in place. The upper is amazing. We've got the ZoomX midsole and then we've got this plate on the bottom for the spikes to go into. And really that is about, there's, there's really not a lot more other than this overlaid Nike logo here. They're an absolutely phenomenal shoe. So what I thought I would do is pitch this at a slightly different angle and go through some of the data that I collected from that workout, talking about paces, cadence, uh, stride length, are the three things that I wanna focus on, just to give you guys a bit of an idea as to how that track session went for me and some of the data that I'm giving off, being someone who is six foot six with a stupidly long 39 inch inside leg. So let me whiz through some of the paces on those sets. We'll go through set one first. Um, so for me, the first 600 was 146, so that's 446 per mile pace or 258 per kilometer pace. Uh, then a 112 uh, 400, which is 448 pace or 259 per K pace, and a 33 200, which is 427 pace, sub 250. Uh, kilometer pace and in terms of the cadence we're talking 172 cadence for the 600 we're talking 182 for the 400 and 182 for the uh, for the 200 with a stride length of 1.97 meters on that 600 so a lower cadence but a longer stride length then we've got 1.85 meters 
on the 400, so a slightly higher cadence and a slightly lower stride length. And then we have 1.98 meters when we were really striding out in that 200. So higher cadence, long stride rate. And that's a theme that you're gonna see as we go through set two, 149, 112 and 32 were the times. So we're talking 447 pace or 258 per mile, uh, per K. 446 pace or 258 per K or 427 pace and four, or sub 250 per K pace. We're talking cadence for the 600, 179, 183 for the 400 and 187 for the 200. So really starting to pick up the cadence there with a stride length of the 600 of 188, uh, 184 on the 400 and then 1.93 on the 200 so again cadence has gone up stride length has gone up so really getting into that sprinter mode when it comes to the 200s and that's exactly what those spikes made me feel and then finally the last set 149 another 112 and a finishing on a 31 uh, the stats on the 31 are quite impressive <laughs> i'm excited to share these so 448 per mile or 259 per k 445 257 for the 400 and 412 sub 250 per k pace for the 200 cadence was 171 for the four uh, for the 600 it was 182 for the 400 and it was 185 for the 200 and finally stride length on the 600 is 1.97 so quite big on that one 1.86 on the 400 but then 2.07 meters <laughs> on that 200 so we really gave it full beans there really striding out feeling like a proper sprinter so just some interesting data there now i take all of this with a pinch of salt obviously it's coming from my watch don't forget i'm sometimes holding a camera passing the camera between hands so some of the data there although it doesn't quite correlate where the cadence has either dropped a bit or the stride length has dropped it's probably with maybe me just messing around and i probably maybe should do a full session without passing cameras around and trying to film to get some really good accurate data but i'm kind of gauging that my cadence there on most of them is up in and around the 180s i think there's 172s felt a bit low because my cadence certainly didn't change that drastically between the 600 and the 400 especially as paces were pretty much exactly the same and the stride length looked to be around the one on average around the one in the 1.8 something meters so that's all good and i've got to be honest with you an overall thoughts on those dragonfly as i said i can't compare it to other spikes i've got nothing to compare it to but I have to say, they were so much fun. Now, obviously, you're warned with spikes, low drop, lightweight sort of shoes that you really shouldn't do too much work in them. I kind of feel with the Zoom X in those, like I've walked away from there doing just over 5Ks worth of work in them. And my, my body wouldn't know any different. I feel great. I feel fine the next day. Absolutely no issues whatsoever. Um, legs aren't sore in the slightest. So I kind of feel like maybe these are slightly different from normal spikes uh, with that extra Zoom X in there. Who knows? I'd love to hear your thoughts if you've tried these, but then also run in loads of other pairs of spikes before. And do you notice the difference? Do you feel these are a lot more forgiving? I'd love to know your thoughts. But that was a track session to remember, really happy with that. Great to be back at the track and I can't wait to go again. I'll certainly be taking these back there, getting some uh, shorter, sharper reps done back at Hereford Track, hopefully soon. One more time before Christmas would be great. As I said, I'd love to hear in the comments below your thoughts on the dragonflies, if you've run in them, what your thoughts are. And I hope you enjoyed today's track video, guys. If you did, make sure you give it a like, share it with friends, subscribe to the channel for weekly run content. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Until then.